Nigerian Copyright Commission, NCC, says it will continue to engage stakeholders in the creative industry to promote effective rights and management. NCC Director General John Assain made this known today at the Commission's Stakeholders Forum held in Lagos State. A super screen's Michael Semeke tells us more in this report. Members of the Copyright Commission, NCC, they have converged on Lagos to examine achievements from the past and determine a roadmap for the future. While members expressed gratitude to the federal government for appointing Barrister John Assain as the Director General of the Commission, they also reflect on the quantum of work done by succeeding generations of the Commission to protect copyrights and intellectual property. The journey had been tortuous, but it had been good. But we had moved on, like I said earlier when I spoke. I thank the succeeding boards and members of staff who have done so well to keep the flag flying. Like I said, this event epitomizes the fact that the end has not come and that we've not reached the promised land. Well, first, let me say that it's not just about 30 years of Nigerian Copyright Commission. It's about the 30 years that have defined the, uh, the creative sector in Nigeria. Within these 30 years, we have seen the phenomenal growth and explosion in Hollywood. Within these 30 years, we have seen wonderful uh, exploits by our musicians, our authors. And we've seen, despite all the challenges, we've seen a creative sector that is so resilient and has refused to die. Uh, they've done an amazing job. And over time as well, I have been privileged to safeguard my works through NCC because every project I did, I had to register it through NCC, uh, the office at Costain, and it's helped my work a lot. And I've seen that a lot of uh, people are not so informed about copyright issues. And uh, it's about time that they sort of uh, created more awareness. These stakeholders were unanimous in their submission that the commission has done a lot fostering Nigeria's global image, but insist more must be done. But what is important is that this body of laws that govern our intellectual property regime need an upgrade. There's a need for reforms in this I mean, different areas of law in a way that will make us to come in compliance with global best practice standard. The essence is to be able to regulate so that every day can hire a not just wake up one day and say, he's, uh, okay, typically, uh, if there's no one regulating even the pure water industry, then you'll be, you'll be drinking pure water from the gutters, and that's why you have NAFDAQ so that it's not all commerce affair. Before you can say you want to make pure water, there's somebody to supervise that the pure water you are giving out is good. And so is the necessity of a regulator in any industry. So uh, they, 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 are, they are supposed to be our first servant who, when policies are made from the government angle, they defend it to the positiveness and progress of the entire industry. Copyright has done well. Um, in creating awareness, a lot of people do not know what rights they have in, in, you know, when their property, when their intellectual property is infringed upon. You know, but I think they have done well in creating awareness, in bringing to the fore what people, what the public needs to know, and also ensuring that those rights are protected. You know. The Commission has, however, promised to work with stakeholders in order to build bridges at national and international levels in the promotion of effective copyright laws. Mike Osemeke, reporting for Superscreen News.